Hi and welcome back to my probably last episode of my playthrough of Doctor Who. Things are actually looking not so bad to be honest. So both of our Doctors are relatively close to Gallifrey. The Dalek ship is still two spaces away from the next time anomaly. But yeah, things can change pretty quickly in this game. But I think without further ado, let's move over to the first Doctor. He gets two, no, he gets three sonic charge tokens in total. I think he wants to get rid of the large scar for now because he wants to install the Doctor's cane because for him that's worth two black dice for instead of just one from the scar from the fourth doctor here so let's just spend this one sonic charge token i think he will definitely hold on to his companions i think he's feeling pretty fine with those and yeah let's see where he travels and i think once more he wants to use his special ability so he will not roll the tardis star he will simply move to this location therefore he gains yet another timey wimey card and i think he wants to be brave he wants to move to scarrow pass because he could move his tardis forward three spaces it's already showing three symbols but with river song i think that's definitely worth a try so yeah let's have him move here let's place the dilemmas accordingly let's reveal sound with them hey missy you're so fine you're so fine you blow my mind cannot change die facing okay that's <laughs> <laughs> for River Song, we can now re-roll stuff, but okay, this can be a tough one, and we need those two symbols. Okay, things may have changed quite a bit right now, but yeah, we will have to deal with it anyway, and maybe he will ask for the help of another doctor. Okay, let's see how he wants to focus. He definitely needs one additional red die. He takes this from Adric here, for example. A green die doesn't hurt either and maybe even a blue die but then he really needs those black dice which he can really re-roll now pretty much still three times here but here always up to two times which is definitely worth keeping so i think he will call it a day and maybe should he now ask for the help of another doctor i think he really should he will discard hmm this equipment card here the doctor's library card which he really doesn't need at this point in time and i think he will simply huh he will simply i think he really should get rid of this die here no he will get away get rid of the green die because he knows that the 11th doctor has amy with him who could then re-roll a green die Still, the 11th Doctor could now decide on his own if he wants to travel to the same location in the end. They would both be allowed to f move forward three spaces. And does he really want to leave this to the Red Doctor or to the First Doctor here in this case? Ha! Huh. He could simply discard his one and only Sonic Screwdriver in order to move that, but then he would also basically suffer from the fail effect and in this case this is this cut two companions and we would draw a new location so pretty much would place two additional Dalek markers on the board hmm I think in a normal situation I would now go there to be honest because I don't want the other doctors to be too far away but as I'm playing against myself I think in this case I will play it somewhat cooperatively so he will simply contribute black die he will use any pawns ability or use the die here because he really wants to re-roll on this green die here and that's pretty much it so let's simply roll some dice let's see i think overall that's not too bad to be honest oh this is really not bad the main problem is still this one here and we cannot use our sonic charge tokens to change the facing either in this case so this is here so we are pretty much looking for uh, those two symbols here this is not good so but let's let's maybe first have the 11th doctor roll his die as well because he could also roll it tactic symbol and of course he does not hmm interesting so i think the 11th doctor will use his reroll on amy first so let's see what comes out ah and again he's failing oh man okay so this die is pretty much out huh and then i think he wants to use the handles which allows him to reroll a red die yeah let's do that 
let's simply do that. Yes, okay. That was good. That was really, really good. So maybe we want to keep it like this. We need the symbol anyway. So in theory, we only need, wow, this lone symbol here. Hmm. And we have three rerolls on the black die. <laughs> we don't have any reroll. Yeah, we have a reroll on the blue die too. No, let's do the three rerolls first for the black die. So first we would start with the doctor's ring. No, that's not it. Then we do the doctor's cane. That's, oh, that's also not it. Hmm. Then we do the reroll for Susan. And wow, again, he's so incredibly lucky. Man, man, man. Yeah, okay, this was really a great, great adventure. Wow, that's really, really awesome. So he would now be allowed to remove a Dalek marker from any location. And of course, that's the Dalek marker here from Clara's apartment. Wow. Then he will be allowed to move his da uh, TARDIS. One, two, three spaces ahead. So pretty much two more movements and he will make it to Gallifrey. And I think, wow, the 11th Doctor really should have visited him, to be honest. This was really a poor decision. And again, if I would have played this with actual people, I would totally have moved to this location too. Still, the 11th Doctor helped, so he's also allowed to gain one timey wimey card and this is an equipment card a bow tie and this is a perfect one for him if you are the 11th doctor he's now allowed to re-roll two dice two black dice and he can install it for free because of his special ability here equipment timey wimey cards cost one less sonic charge tokens to play nice okay let's start the Activation of the 11th Doctor. He starts with two Sonic Charge tokens. He will not dismiss his companions. I think he feels pretty good with those. But of course, he will install his shiny bow tie yeah, to his TARDIS and now would be allowed to reroll some dice. He really desperately needed a card like this. Perfect. And I think for his movement, he wants to roll the TARDIS die because he wants to choose which location. He's really looking for a location where he would be allowed to move his TARDIS also three spaces ahead. Yeah, this time he is allowed to choose. And here he found the perfect card, Mechanos Future. Move your TARDIS forward three spaces. Good symbols for him. So let's see what the lemmas are waiting here for us. Of course, let's have the doctor move here first, reveal it. The Cyberman cannot reroll dice. Oh, Corvi, yeah, just that we have received those two dice stuff. Man, yeah, this is now not looking so good. We need six results. Pick a time zone on Earth and place a Dalek marker in that time zone. Okay. Mm, this could hurt us at some point in time, but yeah, let's build the dice pool first. Yeah, that's the dice pool. I think we have to focus. We need at least one more red die. That much is clear. We also need another green die from her. Because we need at least three green symbols here. Blue is already fine. I think we already have too many of those blue icons. I'm still thinking if we should be going for another red die here, to be honest. We have two green symbols where the tactics and wow, this is now tough. If I would now call the help of another doctor, so the first doctor, he would move to the location because then he could win this game. Um, so <laughs> I'm really tempted not to do that, to be honest. And I think I will not. I will really try to achieve this or overcome this dilemma myself. This is now really not a cooperative spirit of this game, but this is what I really like about this game, that you can make this decision. And overall, the fail effect of those Cybermen is not really bad at all, to be honest. Of course, we have to place a um, Dalek miniature on Earth and if we have three Daleks on the Earth, we lose the game. But right now, that's the first one. So I think it's not overly bad. So let's see what comes out of this. This doesn't look bad at all. So what do we have here? We have this. We have this. We pretty much... Ah, oh, we are looking for two running symbols. And I don't have the running symbols. Wow, this was such a great roll. 
and I simply cannot use it. Wow, I only have, no, I cannot use to reroll. Pretty much, I can only use my Sonic Charge token in order to change the facing of one single die. That's not enough. Oh man, this was such a cool roll. And still, it's not good enough because I cannot reroll dice. <laughs> this really hurts. And overall, I have three great guys with me who can change the facing of another die, but I cannot use any of those right now. Wow. This was really a blow. Here we are. I have to discard a black die in order to roll again. I think I'm out. I think this doesn't help me. I cannot achieve this. Rerolls would, would be really the perfect deal right now, but I cannot use those. And I think this this is totally crap. Yeah, this, this is really crap. So I have this, I don't have this, I don't have a running symbol. Okay, I have to do that again. And I think, yeah, that's already the last full roll at least. Because if I can, I can discard another black die, but then I'm only, I'm down to five dice. And yeah, okay, that's it. Hmm, that's it. Oh man. Yeah, but that's the only fail effect right now. So it's really not that bad. Of course, we also have to place a Dalek mark. So this guy will also now steal a die from us from my dice pool after I have completely built it. And I think I will place the Dalek onto Earth past here because it's overall the easiest um, location to go to if you really have to get rid of it. Okay, let's move into the Dalek turn. The Dalek ship will move one space ahead and then we will go back to the first Doctor. who will get two more sonic charges and I think then he can simply go traveling. And I think he wants to try to move to the Silurian spaceship future because it would give him his two spaces. He could draw one timey wimey card and it only shows two symbols here. And this is the right symbol if there isn't a bad dilemma tile according. But he still has to roll the TARDIS die now. Yes, he is allowed to move there again. I'm saying it, he's really extremely lucky. So let's move him here. Let's reveal this tile. It's the teller, it's time lock. And okay, that's bad for him. He cannot change die facing on this thing here. So yeah, Whew, okay. Here is it, his dice pool. He needs a green die here, that's for sure. I think he would go for another green die here. So that's Susan and Adric's ability. I think he doesn't need another blue die. He can reroll those black dice like if there is no tomorrow. He will not call for help. I think he feels fine overall. Yeah, I think I think he does. He's fine. So he will leave it like it is because he really has a lot of rerolls and oops, keep in mind that those two can also be used to reroll dice. Okay, so basically two more rerolls and he also have the memory worm timey wimey cards. I think overall he really should be able to make something out of this. Okay, now I'm really pumped to be honest. Let's roll those dice and let's see what comes out of this. Okay, not so sure. It doesn't look bad at all. So we have this, we have this. So in theory, he's only lacking this one light bulb symbol here, and he really has a lot of rerolls. So again, let's start with a doctor's ring right now. So this allows him to move, uh, to reroll two black dice. That's not good enough. Then he will do the same for the doctor's cane, also two dice because he's the first doctor. Also not good enough. Okay, now it's getting really tense. But uh, Susan will also allow him to reroll a black die. Again, he's not able to do that. And now he has to start spending Sonic Charge tokens. Okay, let's spend his first two Sonic Charges for one reroll. No. Then his second pair of Sonic Charge tokens. Also no, okay, wow. And <laughs> now he really has to make a tough decision. He cannot discard a black die in order to reroll all of those dice or he can use the Memory Worm. Reroll all of your dice, theoretically. 
The 11th Doctor could also discard the Fish and Fingers and Custard here for any dice he could roll one more time. But does he want that? Because the other Doctor would win the game. And this is again the decision you have to make how cooperatively you want to play that game. Right now they are not about to lose. So I think maybe I would rather not do that. So I would rely on the first doctor so he will now discard the memory worm in order to reroll all of those dice but he doesn't have to discard one yet so the overall odds are a little bit better and now i have to see again one two three four can you believe that again he made it i cannot believe that that's Oh, insane. So yeah, see for yourself. Move your TARDIS forward two spaces. One and two. So he made it to Gallifrey, but the victory check is during the Daleks' turn and he's still allowed to draw another timey-wimey card. Poet's Hats. Discard if River Song is one of your dis companion. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> she is. So we have to get rid of that Poet's Hat. Okay, then it's the 11th Doctor. He gets his two Sonic Charge tokens and... huh. Actually, I'm not thinking of using this card here. The Ancient and Worshipful Law of Gallifrey. So I could now spend two Sonic Charge tokens to move each other player's TARDIS one space forward or backward or we could move our TARDIS forward one space. This would give us one more step. We would move the ship from the or the TARDIS of the other Doctor back one space in theory, but to be honest, I have already played it quite cooperatively, so I will not do this dick move here. So I think I will play this card. So I will discard those two Sonic Charges. This will let me move my own TARDIS one space ahead and I will decide, okay, I will move the first Doctor's TARDIS also one space ahead. In theory, I could go into a next round, but to be honest, it's very likely. We were very lucky, to be honest, how well this playthrough went, to be honest. So I think, why should we really care and drag it on? There's really a good chance that we will defeat the Daleks with a relatively clear victory. So I think he wants to move to Scarrow Present. This seems to be a relatively easy dilemma or easy location. Let's roll the... TARDIS die. Yes, he is allowed to move there. Let's reveal the tile. The Vord. Okay, I think this is really something that we should be able to solve. So again, we don't really need blue dice. We need red dice and green dice. So I think I will use any possibility here to change that facing into a red die. I will do the same for Ian. Also changing this to a red die and maybe we'll take another green die from Rory. This still allows me to reroll two black dice here and I have my three Sonic Charge tokens. So really hope for the best here. Okie dokie, here they come. And I think that's it. Here we have a fist, we need another fit. fist. We can use Ian Chesterton's ability to change the facing of that die. Oops, where is the fist? To this fist. Yes, hooray, we have overcome the board, which means we can now move the TARDIS forward one space. So here we go, we will move the Dalek ship backward one space and we would also be allowed to draw a timey-wimey card and what do we get here jelly babies as an event any adventure reroll any 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 oh that's a cool card very cool card but basically the game is over now first thing to do we would move the dalek ship one space ahead then we check for dalek victory we only have two daleks out on the board right now only one of those those are on Earth, so not a problem here. The Dalek ship has also not reached Gallifrey. We would check for the Doctor's victory. And yes, hooray, the first Doctor made it to Gallifrey, way ahead of the Dalek ship here as well. Don't get me wrong, this really seemed to be like a cakewalk. But first of all, I have really played this game quite some time already. So I do have some experience in how those characters go together, where you would, how you would, should be using your equipment and stuff like that. And the first Doctor was extremely lucky with his dice roll. I think there were at least three times where he with 
this last die also really rolled the result that he would need it. Also, this re-roll of his last die when he went there to, where was it? Silurian's spaceship passed him with one roll, pretty much solved the whole problem there. So overall, really, really very lucky playthrough here. And yeah, that's how you play Doctor Who Time of the Daleks. I really enjoy this game a big deal. You know, I always love rolling dice. In most cases, I tend to suck at it, but this time it went out pretty fine, to be honest. But of course, I had two doctors. Also keep in mind, I did not really play it semi-competitive or cooperatively enough, to be honest. So I really could have done more take that, but basically putting the whole risk, uh, whole game at risk. So that's definitely something, a decision that each game group has to make on its own, how he wants to play this game. I'm really looking forward to some of the expansions, seeing some more doctors, especially those two guys here, more companion cards on earth, and alien companions, more time anomaly cards, and of course, more timey wine cards. Pretty much more of everything. Apart from that, the game is really pretty complete. So I, again, I played it a couple of times already and I've not bored so far. Always happy to see some of those locations, some dilemmas I have not even seen yet. So overall, there's really a lot of stuff in this game already in order for you to enjoy it for quite some time. Hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. And yeah, until then, bye bye. <laughs>